New details this morning in the sex trafficking case against Sean Diddy Combs. Prosecutors now claiming that from behind bars, Combs has been trying to reach out to victims and possible witnesses. And ABC's Phil Lipoff is here now with this story. Good morning, Phil. Good morning, Gio. Diddy's lawyer is trying for a third time to get him out on bail. But this time, the prosecution telling the judge about attempts they say the rap mogul made from behind bars to influence everyone from potential jury to alleged victims. Who's the boss? Dudes is lost. Don't think because I'm iced out. I'm a cool off. This morning, prosecutors leveling new accusations against Sean Diddy Combs, saying he poses a serious risk of danger even from behind bars as he awaits trial. In a court filing late Friday, prosecutors detailing the steps they say Combs is taking while locked up to reach out to prospective witnesses and influence public opinion to affect potential jurors. The accusations within the prosecution's motion to deny bail are very serious and will be considered very heavily by the judge because the judge is going to want to ensure that he is not influencing witnesses and or contacting anyone to influence a trial in any way. Combs has pleaded not guilty to charges of racketeering, transportation to engage in prostitution and sex trafficking. He denies any wrongdoing. The government now asking a judge not to grant Combs's third request for bail in which the music mogul offers a $50 million bail package citing new evidence and changed circumstances. Swimming in women with their own condominiums, five plus fives who drive millenniums. Prosecutors pointing to recorded phone calls from jail. They say Combs asked family members to reach out to potential victims and witnesses, urging them to create narratives to influence a jury pool. Allegations that could land Combs in even more trouble. Diddy's jail calls can be used at trial if they are able to support the prosecution's case in chief. They can also provide grounds for additional criminal charges to be filed against him. All of this while a Hulu documentary is set to be released Monday. His name is Shine. Kid is nice. Called The Honorable Shine, about a young rapper who says he took the rap for a nightclub shooting involving Combs and then girlfriend Jennifer Lopez. Puffy got acquitted and he got 10 years. He was betrayed. I was absolutely set up to be the fall guy. Moses Shine Levy Barrow, now running for president of Belize, says he was betrayed by Combs. So that documentary is out tomorrow on Hulu. Lawyers for Combs say he categorically denies Mr. Barrow's allegations and that these claims are unequivocally false. Combs, by the way, has that bail hearing coming up on Friday. We reached out to his legal team about these new accusations from prosecutors, and we have not heard back. Whit now, so many developments in this case. Phil Lipoff, thank you.